Hi, Taya here. Um, a couple people were having some issues around getting into um, the Tesla Kitchen forum and posting images and links and things, so I thought I would make a very short tutorial just to show you how that works. So the first thing that you want to do, um, obviously, is create a new topic. In this case, we are under the Review My Blog Post slash Article Topic, so we want to open that. And once you've opened that, um, then you're going to want to create a new topic. And I have already done that because I wanted to try and speed this along just a little bit. And also I was testing to make sure that everything was uh, working in good order. And basically um, what we're looking at is um, functionalities that may be a little bit confusing in the sense that they look like they're there but they don't seem to work that way so okay so now we're in the review my blog post article uh, topic area and I have created a new topic here called the test topic and I'm going to go ahead and edit this because it's already been created all right, so if I want to edit the post, then I need to actually open it, which I'm going to do here. And you'll see that I already have some content I was playing around just to make sure that it all worked just fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on, so I'm going to let me delete this. All right, and we'll use this one over here. Um, what you can see is that Within the um, post here, there's an image and there's a link. And I'm going to go ahead and select it all and delete it so I can show you again. And basically all I did was copy some text with a link in it and then paste it right over here. And you'll see that the link has already been um, hot linked here. Now, Usually, what you would do is you would select the text and you would come over here to this chain icon and click that and insert the link that way, but that doesn't seem to want to work here. So just copy and paste your link from your website and it should work just fine. The other thing about images, kind of the same thing. Um, you can't really upload an image to my website, but you can. Um, utilize a picture if you copy it and I'm just going to copy the image and put it right here, paste and you can see it's there. Now the I'm going to save the edited post. The other way that you could do that it would be to grab the URL so you could copy the image URL and then um, insert a picture using the insert picture uh, icon where it asks you for a URL but you can't really upload anything to the website per se. So you can see that now everything is in there just the way you need it. So if you've already posted something come on back and um, add it that way and we'll be good to go. Hey there, this is Taya, and this little tutorial is going to show you how to customize your profile for the forum. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is log in. Make sure you're logged in. And then you're going to click on Profile right here at the forum level. And this is going to open up your member profile. And this is where you can change your, um, well, you can't change your login ID, but you can change your display name, your email address, first and last name. If you have a website, um, I would go ahead and um, add that in as a link. And any short biography that you want to write about yourself, foodie, writer, marketing consultant, you can add that there. Um, your online identity. So if you want people to be able to um, find and connect with you via social media, you can add your um, Facebook page, for instance, your Twitter handle, and you want to make sure that you use the full HTTP um, for each thing. Your personal options, 
how you want to display um, everything. If you would like to auto subscribe to every topic that you post in, um, you can change this to a green check mark. If you'd like to hide your online status, um, if you don't want anyone to know that you're here, you can ch change that to a green check mark. And here's where we go to the avatar. So one of the things that we use here on the WordChef website is Gravatar.com. And if you haven't set up a Gravatar, I highly recommend that you do so because when you go to any website pretty much these days and leave a comment, it's going to search for your Gravatar and it will pull that information in um, from there. The other thing that you can do is upload an avatar to the website here. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. Okay, what I did was I saved it again, but this time as a PNG file, um, which will really take it down. It's down to about five bytes at this point. See, we have success. So now we want to update the profile to make sure that that's saved. And I can refresh the page to display my avatar. And now you can see my picture is here. So we want to make sure that you get that done. Um, you can set up your signature here. And one of the things I would do is, um, you know, use a tagline so people understand uh, what you do. Or if you have a giveaway or something that you want to point people to, um, type that in here as well. So I will type in helping you find and share your secret sauce with the world. And I'm going to hot link this. So the way that you need to do um, hyperlinks in the forum is the old fashioned way. Basically, the icons up here that allow you to um, insert links are not working for some reason, but the HTML is. So if you click on HTML here, you can add HTML code on the back end. And this is probably something really good for you to learn. Basically, the HTML um, structure for adding a link is this right here. We want a bracket A href equals your URL is going to go here so that's where you would type whatever URL you wanted the link to go to and then this is going to be the text that you want to hyperlink so once you're done with that and you click update you come back here and you see my website is hyperlinked to the site that I just linked it to and that's how you have to do a link um, within the forum. The other way is to copy and paste a hyperlink that's already been hyperlinked. If you um, copy and paste the URL of something from like a Word document that's not been hyperlinked, it's not going to automatically change into a link. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Okay?